Hey guys, this is Bryce at Patriot Ford and today on this cold day, I uh, got a, a really great treat to share with you guys. It's a new 2015 Ford Explorer and it is in one of their brand new colors for the 15 model. This is Caribou Metallic. Now this one is an XLT. It's a fully loaded XLT, which I'll show you here in a second. But guys, just look at this color. Oh my gosh, it is absolutely beautiful. So, and on top of the, the 20 inch, the 20 inch wheels just looks fantastic. So let's go look around the front here. You got your halogen headlamps. Got your nice matte chrome finished grill. Got some nice chrome trim to kind of set it off here. Look around the back, that way you can see the LED tail lamps, the dual tip exhaust. It is a flex fuel. So there's a button under here, that way you can see the, uh, the power lift gate which is a really cool feature here. And these seats, they do fold flat. They'll fold right down there into the uh, into the cavity down there. So they, uh, they fold flat, give you all kinds of room here in the back. And then whenever it comes time to uh, put the hatch down, just hit that button up there and it'll power the hatch down. It does have rear, rear sensors, a rear camera, which I'll show you here in a second. But uh, let's start with the let's start with the middle row now. Got your bucket seats in the second row. It is equipped with the Bliss and the inflatable rear seat belts, which you can see here, which is really cool. They, uh, in case of an impact, they will inflate quickly. That way, it disperses the force that you feel along your chest. So, anyway, that is what the inflatable rear seat belts is for. So, once again, you got your bucket seats, your second row buckets, which is an additional option here. Makes it really easy to access the, the rear seat. Back here, you have your cup holder, your rear climate controls, you got a 12 volt outlet there, and uh, that's, that's basically it for the middle row. So let's go up front. That way you can see everything up front. You have your uh, Secura code, your, your keypad there. It's a digital keypad that's touch sensitive. Tell you what, it is extremely cold today. Holy cow. So, okay, well, I've had it warming up. So I uh, put the temperature on high. And yes, you do have heated seats for your front two seats up here. So let's. Let's, let's jump into it here. We got just uh, some control panels over here. This is for your headlights. You got your fog lights. You got your overhead lights. Your dash, like your, oh, your, your dash up here. It has the brightness. You can adjust the brightness over here. Now down here, um, I said that there's a power tailgate and uh, I showed it to you, but watch this. You hit this button here and your rear lift gate opens up and you push it again and it comes down and it locks itself there you go that's all there is that's all there is to that really cool you can also access it on the key fob which i don't know if you'll be able to see but this button right here you'll you can double click it from the outside with your key fob and it'll open it up as well so several ways to open up the rear hatch but anyway you got your power locks you get your nice chrome door handles with the aluminum uh, finish there you got your uh, tweeter speakers and as well as your power uh, one up one down front windows and then your power rear windows as well you can lock them and then your power uh, your power mirrors one thing that's also included in the rear inflatable seatbelt package is, let's roll this down here so you can see it in the top left corner of the mirror, 
there is a little circle there and that is your blind spot monitoring system. Say you have someone come up on your left side that's in your blind spot, there will be a little LED that will light up and, and tell you that someone, hey, someone's in your blind spot. So also the same way on the right side, you can't see it from here because it's a little far away, but oh, you can, you can kind of see it. Anyway, if someone's in your right blind spot, it'll show you that as well. It'll, tell, it'll let you know that as well. So moving on to the steering wheel, you got a whole bunch of controls on the steering wheel. So let's just jump right in, start with the left side here. You'll, the first thing you notice is the big uh, the big five-way keypad. You got your four ways out here, and then you have your OK in the middle. That controls this left screen, and you can go all kinds of different things. Traction control, blind spot monitoring, like I was telling you. Cross traffic, which is really neat. Say you're pulling out of a, you're backing out of a parking space, and someone comes up behind you. It'll it'll give you an auditory alert, letting you know, hey, someone's coming. You know. So anyway, that's a really neat feature. Trailer sway keeps your trailer in line if you ever pull anything. Fuel economy, you can get your instantaneous fuel economy as you're going down the road. So, and the, there'll, there'll be a little uh, LED bar that kind of goes across and lights up as you're going down, lets you know what kind of fuel economy you're getting. So trip one, trip two, just like you're, uh, you're used to here. And then display mode, it has your miles to empty, that kind of thing. You also have attack. Digital, digital tachometer so rev the engine and it goes up like that and then your digital fuel gauge so all that's controlled through this little thing and then you also have your cruise control which those are the standard standard cruise control uh, buttons that we it's pretty self-explanatory with that one now on the right side looks like very identical to that one just kind of flip-flopped um, this one controls your right screen this is all your media stuff like navigation, your phone, entertainment, things of that nature. So uh, one thing really cool since this one does have nav, this will give you turn by turn directions up here. That way you have your map over here on your My Ford Touch, but this is also giving you turn by turn directions like X amount of miles, turn right or left or merge onto the highway. It'll tell you and uh, it makes it really easy. You don't have to take your eyes far away from the, from the road. It's just right there right there in front of you super nice so anyway you also have capabilities to go to your phone if you have a phone paired via Bluetooth it'd be able to access all your contacts things like that so really really neat over here you have your media controls and your voice controls so voice you got your phone hang up button volume up and down seek you know up and down left or right or what however you want to think of that so and that'll be able to control music and uh, voice commands on your phone, voice commands on the navigation system, all kinds of stuff like that. Really, really, really cool. So uh, while we're looking at this, I want to show you the backup camera. Um, now, it has your red, green, and yellow, and it t those gauge how far you are and stuff like that. And also, there's a dotted line in the middle which separates, which separates uh, the left and the right. So say you're coming up on someone that is... Uh, on this this is gonna be on my right here and I'll back up that way you can kind of see that way it starts beeping at me it tells me that I am very close on the right side with the little with the red square that highlights up right there so it tells me that I'm really close to hitting them and uh, same way it goes for the left side which is pretty neat Go ahead and uh, that way it stops hollering at me and straighten up here so that's a neat feature you also have all kinds of stuff down here usb and other 12 volt you got your auxiliary line in sd card slot that's for your nav really neat there so all of your controls these are all like soft touch buttons so you, you know, they're not actually buttons but you just kind of soft touch them and and that's what controls it Everything down here can be controlled up here. You go through climate, got all kinds of climate settings, your heated seats, passenger temperature, driver temperature, driver seat heated, um, front window defroster, rear window defroster, things like that. You also have your stereo. You can also access your phone once you have a phone paired, which is really cool. And go back to your home screen. Those are all your settings. 
And then you also have some information like you can, uh, it says navigation SD card, uh, card fault. Um, well, there's not a card in there, that's why. So anyway, you can go to travel link, which is really cool. Gives you weather updates, sports updates, ski lodge conditions, fuel prices, movie listings, all kinds of cool stuff with that. So that's that's one of the things. Also, you see sports scores there. Um, no SD card slot or SD in there. So anyway, there's no. Uh, it doesn't register that there's an SD in there. So that's why it's not highlighting anymore. But anyway, sports info. Say you have a game on the radio that you really want to see. You can go in there, find it and then click like if it's live you can click on it and it'll take it right to the the radio station that it's playing on which is really cool and uh one of the last features that i want to mention is the select shift transmission which is really cool in case you're pulling something and you need to put it you need to keep it in a, or a certain gear put it in manual and then you can shift up and down with your rocker switch there so which that's a pretty neat feature and uh, last but not least, this I think this is probably the coolest feature that these things have, and it is called the dual panel moonroof. So you have your regular moonroof, like you're probably used to, but you also have the one in the middle row, which is super, super neat, because it's huge. If you got kiddos, you know, they can have like a skylight, and then you also have your moonroof up here, which also slides open. It also tilts as well. So, and as you can see, you have a bug shade up here that way it keeps bugs out from getting into, into the cabin. So uh, lots of really cool features. And let me get out real quick and show you what the moonroof looks like from, from the back row. So I'll get down here, that way you can see, but uh, you can see the front moonroof. I have it slid back, so it's, it's over the top but that back skylight is huge so I mean you got all kinds of uh, all kinds of things on this one so anyway that's uh, that's the treat I wanted to show you guys this is once again 2015 Ford Explorer in caribou metallic it's an XLT and uh, and keep in mind if this isn't the right one I have a whole bunch of them I got some sports uh, I happen to have this one pulled out because I, I love the color. It's a new color. I wanted to share that with you. Also have all of these down here. And and don't get me wrong, there's more back here too. So I have a whole bunch of them to choose from. So if that's not the right one, starting here, going all the way down this row. Also have a couple more up front. I have a, a huge, huge, huge selection of new explorers so anyway please i hope you enjoy this video i hope you found it helpful um i love doing these demonstrations so uh anyway let me know how i can help i'll put my phone number in the description here and anyway bryce at patriot ford and uh look forward to hearing from you bye